Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to smoothly blend between animations in Godot 4. So for this tutorial, I just have this character that's rigged through Mixamo and has animations from there as well. And huge shout out to this open source project which just combines them into a single GLTF file, which I'll have a link to this tool in the description down below. But I am assuming you already have your animations. So I simply have a idle, a jumping animation, a running animation, and a sitting animation. And right now they work fine, but as you can see when I switch, it just kind of snaps to that other animation and doesn't have any smooth transition. So I'm gonna create a new node. This will be an animation tree. In the animation player, we're going to attach our pre-existing animation player. And in the tree root, we'll add in a animation node blend tree. Now head over to the animation tree tab. Here we have the output, which will be the final result of the animation. So now we simply want to add in all the animations that we want from our animation player. So right click animation. We can name this idle and we will click the little reel here and select idle. And I'm just going to go into this for all my animations. And I've also gone ahead and just added in anim at the beginning of the names so that we know that they're animations. Let's create a new blend to node in the in we'll select the idle and the first blend will be the run. Let's just call this run. And this value will be how far we are from idle to run. So zero being fully idle and one being fully running. And we put this into the output. And if we make sure that we have active on in our animation tree, we can slowly drag this forward. You'll see that we start running. And if we drag it back down, we'll slowly go back to idle. And I don't really know why, but I'm not complaining. You can actually go beyond these values to get some interesting effects. And now we just need to add in two more blend twos in order to connect our sitting and our jumping. So let's connect the in to run and the in on jump to sit. And the two blends will be sit and jump and connect the final to the output. And now whichever of these values will slowly transition from our idle or whatever animation has the highest value to that animation. Now let's over to our player script. And instead of referencing our animation player and calling dot play, we will reference our animation tree. So I'll control and drag over that. And let's just call it anim tree. Now let's create a few more variables. One will be our run value, which will just be the zero to one value of run. So this is zero and I've gone ahead and just added in the other values. And remember, we don't need an idle value because if these are all zero, idle will simply pass through all of them. And I we need to actually set these values in the tree. So let's create a new function called update tree. And in here, we'll call anim tree parameters slash for the first one, it will be run and then blend amount and we'll set this to our run value and if you need to know where this is located in the animation tree underneath the parameters drop down you'll see we have jump run and sitting which are named by these blend nodes and you can see we have a blend amount which is the same as these and i've gone ahead and added the two other values now we need to have a way to actually determine which value we want to set so let's create an enumerator which we'll just set to be idle, run, sit, and jump. And we'll also have a current animation variable, which will be set to idle. And finally, one more variable. It will be our blend speed. Let's set this to 15. Now let's create a new function called handle animations. We're going to pass in delta as we will need to multiply the blend speed by delta in order to interpolate through the animation values. Let's create a switch statement through current animation. The first case will be idle. If it is idle, we will set our run value to blurp f, since this is a float, run value down to zero, and then blend speed times delta. And since all zeros means that we can have idle pass through, we want to do this for all the values. So now we have all the values go down to zero. For running, we want to set the run value to one and remain these other values at zero. Then for sitting, we want to copy these values 
and set sit to one. And then obviously set jump to one as well. And now let's create a new physics process function. And we'll just call handle animations, pass in delta. And now whenever we want to switch to a different animation, we can simply type current anim gets, let's say, run. And now when we call this function, which is every single frame, we will transition to run. So for a quick example, if I have a direction that I'm going to be running, however, if I'm standing still, I'm calling the idle animation. And we can see that here. If I move, I run. And if I stop, I transition back to idle very smoothly. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this story helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.